All right, welcome back everyone and good evening. Temperatures today making their way into the lower 50s. Mostly cloudy skies still present across northeast Kansas. Here's our Manhattan camera precipitation not as evident that far out west, but closer to Topeka. We have our Holton camera still seeing mostly cloudy skies with uh, starting to see a bit of a clearing out there. Let's take a look at satellite and radar. Pockets of rain continuing to push off to the north and east. Topeka, Lawrence, Osage, Ottawa seeing some rain right now and more rain is to come in the next several days. Also fun to look at here. We saw some lightning with a few of those stronger thunderstorms, but again, no major impact to northeast Kansas. All right, let's take a look at temperatures outside right now. Middle 40s here in Topeka winds out of the east northeast seven miles an hour. Winds will stay relatively calm with a light breeze over the next 24 hours or so. 47 in Manhattan as well as Clay Center, 46 in Junction City. Everyone fairly mild, but again, technically a little bit below average for this time of year. Moving forward tomorrow morning around sunrise should be waking up into the lower 40s. Pretty nice start to the day, but notice for the afternoon we don't move a whole lot. Models are keeping us in the middle 40s for much of the viewing area and counties up north could be even seeing some upper 30s. So a bit of a cooler air mass in place. And Thursday, that becomes even a little bit more evident, possibly middle to upper 30s up north, lower to middle 40s through much of the I-70 corridor. And this pattern will continue for at least the next four to five days with rain chances sprinkled in there. Winds will be out of the east about five to 10 miles an hour late tonight, early tomorrow morning on in through the afternoon. Not a big issue, not expecting uh, too many wind gusts either. It's just going to be kind of an average day with some drizzle. Let's break down those drizzle chances. Mostly cloudy skies heading through late tonight and on into tomorrow morning. Notice the light green right here. That's this model's way of trying to hint at some precipitation. Usually in this form, we'll be expecting some drizzle. So plan on that for tomorrow. And then by the afternoon, mostly cloudy skies. Drizzle chances will remain. And then we see a bit of a bigger push of energy arriving Thursday morning. Some yellows and oranges right here indicating some pockets of heavier rain. And then up north, we see blues and pinks. And of course, that means we have a chance to see at least a few snowflakes, maybe some wintry mix. We'll know more as we get a little bit closer, but the temperatures will be right around freezing at that point. Thursday afternoon, still some spotty showers in the area, maybe a few snowflakes. And then we see a brief break heading into Friday before another round of precipitation will be possible into Saturday. So very active pattern starting to set up. Tomorrow we'll be waking up in the upper 30s and lower 40s. We'll gradually warm up, but not a whole lot. Middle to perhaps upper 40s for the afternoon. And those upper 40s will be with us for about the next six to seven days. 47 tomorrow, drizzle will be in the area. 40% I think is fair for right now. Thursday, showers become a little bit more likely. Brief break on Friday where highs will be in the upper 40s. And then Saturday, once again, a quick little system moving through, bringing us some showers as we kick off the weekend. Those 50s stick around through Sunday, and then we kind of just hang out there for a while, Mackenzie, upper 40s and lower 50s. I can deal with some rain. Yeah. I don't think it's too bad. It's not too bad.